And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back, everyone. Another scorcher this afternoon as high temperatures reach the 90s and even triple digits out west. We tie the record of 93 in Brownsville today. We broke the record in Callan, 98 degrees. New record. The old record was 97. No records broken in Harlingen or Westaco. It has been very quiet on the radar. This is most likely not rain. And even if it were moisture on the radar, the air mass is simply too dry at this point for rain to fall. So just hot and dry for this afternoon into the start of this evening. Look at the temperatures right now. It's 89 degrees in Brownsville, 94 in Harlingen, 92 in Westaco, but 97 McAllen. There's your humidity, 37%, and we've got winds out of the south southeast at 10 miles an hour. So your evening planter forecast, we start off very warm at 7 o'clock this evening under mostly clear skies with temperatures in the upper 80s, but we're back to the lower 80s at 9 p.m., mostly clear, and then upper 70s at 11 o'clock this evening. Should be another mild night with temperatures overnight in the lower 70s. Quick look at the tropics. Hurricane Nicole still hanging on in the North Atlantic as a Category 1 hurricane. It should become fully extra tropical later on this week, perhaps hitting between Greenland and Iceland, but uh, high ocean swells will still be an issue along the U.S. and Canadian coast as well as Bermuda, even though Nicole is not a direct threat to the U.S. or Canada. Meanwhile, we have this area of disturbed weather just off the coast of Miami and over the Bahamas. It's moving east, though, and it has just a 30 percent chance of development over the next five days. So back home in Texas, we have surface winds from the south and southeast shown in the blue arrows. At the upper levels of the atmosphere, we have a big dome of high pressure, a big ridge of high pressure, which is a stable air mass. And that's why the rain has been out the door, folks, this weekend, as well as for tomorrow and for Tuesday. But we have some changes on the way. Yes, it will stay hot, even humid for Monday and Tuesday as the surface winds continue from the south and southeast. But a cold front is finally, finally on the way to the valley. It should arrive here by, we think, Thursday afternoon. So ahead of it, we're still putting in a slight chance for some showers Wednesday afternoon night. Now, yesterday we were thinking the moisture is not all there for Thursday, but it looks a little more present according to the model. So we're going to up those rain chances to about 30, 40 percent for Thursday with a chance for some thunderstorms as the front moves on by. And even behind the front on Thursday, by Thursday night and Friday morning, there is still a possibility for some leftover showers. But it's going to feel much nicer by Friday, especially Friday afternoon, much less humid behind the front. And by Friday night in time for the high school football games, a cool start to the evening on Friday. And by Saturday morning, we should be looking at overnight lows, morning lows in the upper 50s, just in time for next weekend. So until then, still hot and dry from Monday and Tuesday and a 20% chance of some showers for Wednesday. On the water tonight, we've got winds out of the southeast at 8 to 14 knots. Bay waters a moderate chop. The rip current risk is moderate for the next couple of days. Their next tide is a low tide at 11:10 tonight, and the seas are two to three feet. So for this evening, mostly clear, mild, maybe some patchy late fog with a low temperature of 71. Then for tomorrow, another hot one, folks, mostly sunny with a high temperature of 97, triple digits in the upper valley. And here's that seven-day forecast. 97 continues on Tuesday, still hot, still humid. We'll put in a 20% chance of some showers Wednesday, a 30 to 40% chance of showers or thunderstorms Thursday as the front arrives. The highs are back in the upper 80s Thursday. We're down to 63 Thursday night. There is still a slight chance for some leftover showers Thursday night and Friday morning. But look at the temperatures, folks, by Friday. 80 for the high, becoming mostly sunny by the afternoon, down to 58 degrees by Friday night and Saturday morning, and 59 by Sunday morning.